Hi, welcome to the strength exercise video to help prevent falls. For more information on falls prevention, you can go to www.hartfordshire.gov.uk and go to the falls prevention page. Now for this workout, you want to aim to do it three times a week and you can do these exercises completely in seated or if you're able to stand, there's standing options as well. But it's important before you begin to get the advice of your GP as to whether it's suitable for you. Now, it's always important when we exercise to make sure we've got a safe space around us. We don't want any rugs that we can trip over, no loose wires that we can catch our, our feet on. And also some proper enclosed footwear, so preferably not slippers that are too loose for you or flip-flops. Have some proper shoes, especially if you are up on your feet. Now it's always important we warm up before we do any exercise. So you may choose to have a little walk around your home or you can just do a nice simple bit of marching. We just want to get the circulation going to make the muscles feel warmer. Now if you're sitting, you would do these at the front third of your chair. So you do a little hip walk to the front of the chair, knees over the ankles and a simple march. You may do them just standing freely, or you may want to stand but need a bit of support from the back of a chair. Now if you can, get the arms swinging as well. And you just want to try and get the feet right up, up off of the floor. So it doesn't have to be at my pace. You may go a bit slower. You may go a bit faster. We listen to our own bodies and we work at our own level. But just so long as we're getting the circulation going. Then you might just do a little heel tap. Tapping the heel out, swinging the arm. If you've got a chair in front of you, just be careful not to catch your foot on your chair. Now all of these exercises are for our lower body because they're about force prevention. So we want to make sure our muscles are strong that stabilise our hips, stabilise our knees and our ankles. Okay, we're going to start with some mobility. We're going to loosen up the ankle joint. It's really important the ankles are loose. So imagine you've got a penny on the floor in line with your instep. If you're on the chair, sit forward at the chair. If you need to, you can always put a cushion behind your back to do this. And you're going to put a tiptoe on the penny, then the heel. Tiptoe, heel. So it's a nice big ankle movement. Let's do two more of these. And then switch to the other one. Point, pull up, point, pull up. So we're just getting rid of any stiffness in the ankle joint. Brilliant. Now our first exercise we're all doing seated. And this is a toe raise exercise. It's to strengthen the front of the lower leg, the shin muscles. So it helps us to pick our feet up. So for example, when we step up onto a curb, we automatically pull our toes up better so that we don't clip our toes on, onto the curb. Now we want to sit with our feet just slightly forward. So the ankles are slightly further forward than the knee. But say try and sit forward on the chair. You can hold the chair, you can put a back support behind you. And we're just going to pull the toes up and down to work those shin muscles. So slowly up and down. Now if at any point when we're exercising it gets too much for you, always sit and take a rest, take a drink of water whenever you need to. Now we've done that with the toes forwards. This time we're going to do it with our toes turned out. So we look a bit more like Charlie Chaplin this time with the feet angled outwards and we lift the toes and lower. So all of our strength work should be slow and controlled. We don't rush for it. It's more important we get the technique than that we do it quickly. Now bring the heels out, bring the toes in, so we're more pigeon toes, still keeping those ankles slightly ahead of the knees, and we lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's do three more of these. And scoop the feet out. Now our next exercise is also seated for everybody and this is called a leg extension. It works our thigh muscles. 
These help to stabilise our knees. So the easiest way to do this is to sit right at the back of the chair and we extend the leg, we hold it a few seconds and we lower it. If you want to make it more challenging, hip walk forward to the front third of the chair, like so you can always put a cushion behind you and then extend the leg. Now the leg's having to work harder because it hasn't got the support of our seat and down. We want to hold it a few seconds to build a bit of stamina into these muscles. And again, we can make it even more challenging by purchasing some ankle weights that you wrap around the ankle, they just Velcro around, and they come in about half a kilo, a kilo, wrap one around each ankle and you add a bit of weight to it. So as these exercises get easier, you could do more repetitions of them, but you can also add some resistance by using the ankle weights. Now just check your posture, you want to make sure your shoulders are still over your hips. If it gets too much on your back, you can always sit back. Now we're going to do it once more on each leg. Just hold it a few seconds, feel your thigh muscles working. Should feel like it's a bit of a challenge. Hold that last one, just a few seconds, feel the thighs and slowly down. At this point, if you need to, sit back, take a rest. Our next exercise is a calf raise. The calf is the muscle at the back of the lower leg. I'll give you a seated version and a standing version for this one. So again, you want to be forward in the chair, but this time the knees are directly over the ankles. We're up nice and tall, and we go up onto the tiptoes and slowly down. Now really press down, into the big toe. So this is two. You could do the same thing in standing. So you hold on to a support, keep it near you, walk up onto the big toes and slowly down. Now you don't want to do it too quickly otherwise you might give yourself cramp. We're going to do ten of these. So we're going to do five more. And as you get stronger, you may build it up to even doing about 15 of them or adding those ankle weights on just to challenge you a bit more. Now check you're not leaning into your support. If you're sitting, make sure that you're not slouching. And then once more up and slowly down. Brilliant. Now, our next exercise is for our abductors, the side of the hip and thigh. Again, you've got a seated version, but you've also got a standing version. So I'll show you the seated version. We sit forward in the chair, knees over the ankles. Now, as long as our knees are over our ankles, it's like a break. We won't fall off of the chair. But if you do feel a little bit unsure, just hold on to the side of the seat if you need to. Now, we're using the side of the hip to bring our leg round. So we lift it about a centimetre off the floor, and then we bring it round place it on the floor, lift it up, bring it in. So it's as if we're getting the leg out of the car. So we don't just bring the foot round, our knee stays at 90 degrees, it's our hip bringing it round. So keep going if you're doing the seated version. If you'd like to try a standing version, have your support and you take the leg out sideways. Now it's important the toes are forward, our knees and toes should always face the same direction. You'll need your support in front of you, otherwise obviously you're going to kick it, but we take the leg out to the side and in. And if you want to feel that a bit more, you can turn the toes in a bit more. Then you'll feel it into the outer hip much more as you're doing it. And again, make sure you're not leaning into your support, you'll be up nice and tall. If you're sitting, check that your knees are still at that 90 degree bend. Sometimes they travel and you haven't noticed that they're doing that. So one more on each leg. You should be feeling that in the side of the hip and thigh now. And see if you can build that up to doing about 10 on each side. Let's see, you could do these about three times a week. So over the weeks, you should be getting a little bit stronger each time. Our next muscle we're working is the hamstring or the back of the thigh. 
I'll show you the standing version. Supporting knee should be soft, so soft means you've got a slight bend in it. It just takes any pressure out of the knee. So knees in line with one another. Start with a small curl and bring your heel towards your bottom and down. Then the other one. Curl your heel towards your bottom and down. Now you want to gradually bring it higher. If you do it too high, too quick, you can get cramp in there. If you would like to do a seated version, you will need to be forward in the chair for this. Hold on to the chair to give you a bit of confidence. Place your leg out in front, flat on the floor, and then press it into the floor. Slide it back so you feel it in the back of the leg. Now you can either keep repeating the same leg when you do this, or you can keep alternating. If you're doing standing version, I recommend keep alternating so you're not standing on that supporting leg for too long. And if you're doing your standing version, remember you can add some ankle weights as you get stronger. So press into the floor. If you're sitting, bring that back. Always stop before the heel is coming up off of the floor. Let's do one more on each leg. So remember, you always want to do the same number on each side. And when you do these, you want to aim to do about 10 of them yourself. Brilliant, boys. Brilliant. Our next exercise is a sit to stand. It's the correct way that we should get up from a chair. But it's also a good balance exercise and a really good strengthener for our thighs and our buttocks. So these muscles, like I say, are important for our balance. Now, we're going to do three of these today, but you're going to aim over the weeks to see if you can get up to doing 10 straight off. But obviously at any point you need to take a rest, you take a rest. Now, if you're worried about falling forwards when you get up from a chair, have another chair in front of you so that once you're up, you can hold on to the back of it or put your chair at a table so you can steady yourself. Don't pull yourself up on the chair because if you did lose balance and go back, you'll pull the chair on top of you. But once you're up, you may put your hand out onto the chair. So the technique for this, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Hip walk, so it's one bottom cheek and then the other to the front of the chair. Now bring your feet back slightly so your knees are over your toes. Have a good gap between your feet. Your feet are going to be about hip distance apart, otherwise it will be really hard to balance once you get up. So feet are back, lean forward so your nose is over the toes, but we look straight ahead. Now we're going to squeeze our buttocks and our thighs. If you need a bit of assistance, do a nice powerful push with the arms as well. So one, two, three, we push to stand, and as soon as we're up, we pump our heels. Sometimes it can make us a bit lightheaded when we go from sitting to standing. So this heel pump just helps to get the oxygen back to our head. Then we walk ourselves back, fill the chair on the back of the, chair, uh, the, back of the knees, hands back because I want to check the chairs there, but also I'm getting my central gravity over the seat. Ease it down with control. So use your arms as much as you need to on the way down. Let's do two more of these. So hip walk to the front of the chair, feet apart and back, nose over your toes. One, two, three, squeeze your buttocks and your legs, pump those heels just to help the circulation. Walk back, fill the chair on the back of the legs, hands back, use your hands to steady you, ease yourself down gently. The slower we come down, the stronger our legs will get. Let's do one more. Hip walk forward, feet apart, back, nose over the toes. One, two, three, push. Pump the heels. Walk back. Slowly down. We don't want to miss the chair, so don't forget the walking back. Slowly down. Now, if you're strong enough to do those without needing to push with the arms, you could try that with your hands across your chest, so you know it's all your lower body, and then just bring them back when you're lowering back down. Now we've worked those muscles quite hard, so we're going to stretch them out as well. It's always important to stretch at the end of exercise so that our muscles are not too stiff the next day. 
So we're going to start with calf, the lower leg. I'll show you a seated and a standing version. So you can take the leg out straight and pull your toes up towards your knee, pushing the heel away. So you feel it from the back of the knee down the back of the leg. If you would like to do it in standing, you step the leg back, make sure the toes and knees are facing forwards and lean forward. Keep that back heel on the floor, that's what's going to pull through our calf. Now when our calves are tight, we're more likely to get cramps. It's really important to stretch these out. And the stretches can be done every day. Just make sure you're nice and warm first. You've had a good march or a good walk around before doing them. Now ease out of that stretch and into the other. So if you're on the chair, take the other leg forwards. Make sure your back's nice and straight. If you're standing, step that leg back, lean into the chair. Really press that heel down and as it eases off, just lean forward a little bit. It shouldn't be painful, but you should feel it pulling a little bit, lengthening the muscle, making us more flexible and more supple. And then ease out of that and bring it in. Now we're going to stretch out our hamstring, the back of our leg, which you can do in sitting or in standing. You will need to be at the front of the chair. One leg bent because that's our break to stop us coming off the chair. Other leg out straight. Now we put one hand on top of the other above our bent knee. Chest up and we lean from our hips so we're not collapsing forward. Now ease forward because you don't want to give yourself cramp. Ease into it until you feel the point of stretching and then hold it there. If you want to do it in standing, it's exactly the same bit in standing, but obviously that requires a bit more balance to do that. So just leaning into it. If you're in standing, you can go a bit deeper, but make sure the foot is flat on the floor so that you're nicely balanced, you're nice and steady. And then ease yourself up. And then switch to the other leg. Hands on the bent leg. Ease yourself down. Remember, ease into and out of each of your stretches. And then if it eases off, go a little bit deeper. And then gently ease yourself back out. Now, whenever you've done some exercise, it's always important to go and have a glass of water afterwards, rehydrate your body. Good luck, and I hope you soon feel much stronger.